Hey folks, this is Brian. Um, I wanted to do a video on give my thoughts on the on the legendary monsterverse, um, and specifically, you know, my thoughts on you know what's going on with with the whole this whole franchises purging franchises coming up, you know, as we've seen in at the end of. Costal Island, which I saw this past weekend, I truly loved. It really reminded me why I love Japanese science fiction kaiju films. Um, and these, and this movie, and basically, you know, some of the Easter eggs are, you know, sly little mentions in the film. Um, and especially, you know, the end, the post credit scene. And if you haven't seen it yet, you know, I'll talk, just, um, it's you know basically letting you know what's going to be going on with the next few films. Anyway, basically, anyway, the, the what's going what happened in the end scene as already knows was that there was a that Con that um, Conrad and Weaver were taken into into the at the end in the credits they were taken as um, interrogation room where they say they will not re they will, they won't reveal anything. About what happened, and and that's when they find out that they're now part of Project Monarch, which you know tracks and which tracks all the giant monsters that are supposedly around, and, and is out to show that giant monsters do exist. And and when the Easter eggs they did show were, you know, you know the drawings of Godzilla, the drawings of Mothra. Rodan, it sets everything up for the next two films. Um, Godzilla, the King of the Monsters, is going to be this is going to introduce in the, into the legendary series, legendary monsterverse, um, is that Rodan, Mothra, and King Ghidorah. You know, and, and along with Godzilla, of course, they were they made the, the Toho Big Four, as I like to call them, and and. The plot supposedly is going to be Godzilla teaming up with Mothra and Rodan against King Ghidorah. Um, and then, of course, the that's going to take place in 2019. And then in 2020, we have, we're going to see the the long-awaited Kong versus Godzilla. Godzilla versus Kong, you know, however they're going to call it. And from what's speculated in that film is Kong, Kong and Godzilla are going to fight each other. And then, as they're fighting, an even bigger threat comes along. And the two of them will t eventually team up and to fight off this other monster. You know, whether it's, you know, the, Mu the return of the Mutos or, you know, another version of King Ghidorah or whatever. Um, but there are other little... You know, remarks, other little, you know, little references to other films in, in the series, and he kind of, in not only in, in you know, in, in, in the monsterverse, but you know, other monsters around, like um, there was a drawing of a giant turtle, and many people were speculating, well, it's for, it's Gamera. Well, you know, it, it's a, if they're going to bring Gamera in the series, they might they're going to have to get permission from Dae, and that's a different, you know. Production that's a different studio than Toho, and you know, long for a long time, everybody wanted to see Godzilla versus Gamera, but of course, you know, Gamera's with one studio, Godzilla's with another studio. But wouldn't it be something if if Legendary were able to get those two monsters together and we finally have it? Oh, it'd be an American in an American production, not in a Japanese production. Of course, there was like a little slide not in the last show air got show air Gamera film when Gamera was walking through the city, walking through Tokyo, knocks over a poster, and the poster allegedly was like a Godzilla film. Um, and then there's you know then there was other little slide reference, other another slide reference to another um, film um, when. Hank Marlowe is talking about is talking to you know to Weaver and and Conrad about you know these giant about giant ants that make bird noises. 
a lot of people said it was a reference to them. And I could see, I can definitely see, you know, Legendary doing a, a, a them picture. You know, because, you know, the, the basically showing the early days of the, of the Monarch Project. You know, because remember, the original, in the original film, Them, it was about a covert operation where, you know, the giant ants came out of the earth and they managed to destroy the nest in New Mexico, but, you know, two queen ants flew out, one to Los Angeles, one was caught and killed, and the other one was somewhere in Los Angeles, in the Los Angeles sewer system. And they had to find them. So I can see basically them doing that kind of film. Or maybe in doing... Um, or even, you know, bringing the, the beast from 20,000 Fathoms. Now, of course, the interesting thing is... Them, both them and the beast... From 20... Were, were Warner Brothers productions. And, of course, Legendary is distributed. Legendary films are distributed by, by Warner Brothers. So... You know, maybe you might see that. Or, you know, I, I'm, thinking, I'm thinking about outside the box as far as, um, you know, Japanese, as far as the legendary um, MonsterVerse. You know, maybe Toho could, um, maybe, I think Legendary could strike a deal with, um, with the company that made Gorgo. Remember Gorgo? There was a, the English film in which a giant, um, which a, a dinosaur's caught and captured and brought back to London, only to have everybody find out that the monster is really a, the baby, and the mother is on her way to England, and she pretty much destroys all of London before finally rescuing her baby and swimming back off to where they where they were from. Or you know, here's the even weirder part. Um. Gigantus. I mean, not Gigantus. Um, what's that film? Oh, yeah, Reptilicus. If, if we may know the story, Reptilicus, many of the main plot lines, some of the main plot lines were used in Gigantus, the fire monster, or otherwise known as, was going to be the volcano monsters, um, which was going to feature Godzilla, a Godzilla, you know, Godzilla, scenes from Godzilla Reigns again, but, you know, that's a different story, but, you know, and I said, this, the total, the, the MonsterVerse franchise, the legendary MonsterVerse franchise, could become as big as, as Star Wars, I mean, I'm not gonna say it's gonna be as big as Star Wars, but, is, you know, it's shaping up to be the next big franchise, you know, and, um, Hopefully, you know, they will continue doing good films like this, not you know, do the what happened to Toho that basically um, destroyed the Godzilla, the original Godzilla franchise, and that was, you know, putting up films with, you know, inane plot lines or whatever, but, you know, make, you know making some kind of thought-provoking films. But anyway, that's just my thoughts on, on the whole thing, and hopefully, as I said, the legendary um, franchise will be the next big thing. The the MonsterVerse will be the next big uh, thing for it, especially for fans of uh, Japanese giant monster movies or what, or any kind of giant monster movies. So, anyway, thanks for the buy-in. Um, I'm out.